Hello, YouTube. Welcome to my channel. Uh, I guess you've seen these as you walk on down the street and everywhere else. You'll see these vape pens or something. My, my daughter smokes. I don't smoke. I quit in 2016. Anyway, um, you'll see these around and they're thrown on the street, whatever. They're disposable uh, vapes, whatever you want to call them, you know. Nicotine, I don't know. Anyway, they have different sizes, different shapes. They come in a lot of different, you know, these are from different machines, whatever they are, little vape things. It, they're, they're make so many different ones. Anyway, I was wondering if we can try to make something pretty decent from these batteries. Um, I have four over there. I have two for another seven, you know. I got, I got several batteries, so I wanted to see if we can make up something that would be worthwhile. So they're very simple to take apart um, put your glasses on and usually you just grab them you know everybody I seen you'll see it all over the place you get a pair of pliers you take the back and just pop it right out it comes up real easily you can see that just pop it pull it and you'll bring all the stuff out with it and this is what you're left with that's the main thing you want and here is the air sensor which we could care less about um, anyway so that's what you're looking that's what you look with here's another one they're they're very very simple like i said i, I don't know if different brands are differently but i just found a little pair of pliers at the bottom of it pulls it right out and what i boy they smell though <laughs> um yeah anyway i've been told that they can charge to 4.2 volts they are 3.7 volt batteries um let me take one off for you so you can read it And I do have even a, a pan just in case of emergency. If I gotta throw some things in there in case something catches on fire, I got a wood to uh, take out the oxygen. You can't use a, you know, fire extinguishers or anything else. Anyway, if you want to get an idea, they, they come in different shapes and sizes. Obviously, um, I don't know if that's gonna if you can read that one or not. Yeah, it's very hard to read. focuses or not um yeah of course it's upside down i can't even read it it's very hard for me to see maybe that helps you out a little better anyway there it shows 3.7 volts um i've been charging them right now and i have this one charges at four uh, trying to go for 420 you know 4.2 volts uh the biggest thing you want to make sure is that as long as it's not getting hot and you don't see any problems with it. I mean, that's reading 74. The other battery's reading 74. So that's working out fine. No problems with that. As long as it doesn't get warm, as you can see, there you go right there, charged up, that one's done. So that should read 420. Let's see what we have here. Uh, checking the amperage on it. Volts. Four point one nine nine. I'll take it. Uh, what I want to do is I want to actually put these batteries together and uh, make a, a battery pack. See what kind of amperage I can get out of it uh, and some other. Let's go for the second one. Oh, yeah, I think my wife's up there making dog treats or she's pounding on the chicken. She uses a dehydrator and if you look at other videos, you'll see I, I have a uh, two dogs that we make treats for constantly and everything. Except you hear some banging. That's my wife. She's making the treats. Anyway, so as you can see, uh, I'm charging this one up. You know, we'll go. It's drawing about eight amps or so. Trying to push into it. You can check it here with the amp meter back to... There you go, I've got an amp. I don't have much, it's, it's about 1.9 amps or so. Going into less, eight watts is what it is. Um, so anyway, anyway, continuing on with these. Now, after you take them apart, let's get 
this way. And they're all about the same. And as you can see, I guess my daughter really used them. You become a pro when you start. Uh... Now, I don't know if all the brands are the same. I'm not sure if some of them are easier than others. These just pop right out. A lot of people use these tubes too. You don't want to throw these out. You might be able to use them for projects. They're a nice uh, solid tube that you can make for cylinders. I know some people that do uh, steam engines and stuff. They use these for little projects or something else. All right. There's the other. Let's get rid of these. We don't need these anymore. Wow. Fruity. You can't smell this, but trust me, it stinks. So all I was doing is uh, popping this out of here, and what we're looking for is, oh, I forgot my putter, putters. Now, as you can see, these have no charging to them whatsoever. So uh, let's take this out. support charge we'll put the empty ones over there this one's over there it's in the trash we'll pull these off now if you want to see how these things are or again if you see one of these on the street and you pop it up I think you could just blow in these things let me see if I got some to a little bit of air so Ryobi uh, very powerful. I'm just gonna try that. See that? Pretty cool, huh? Doesn't take much. Anyway, so that's the air sensor. Um, all right, let me uh, separate these. Again, I don't smoke, but I know some people say you can refill these. Uh, you can, you know, I think this one's shot, but I'll, I'll show you on another one where I think they can be filled. Uh, I think if you pull i think people say if you want to refill them you're supposed to put the stuff in the top there you can put this back on there's a filter some other things again i don't smoke so it doesn't mean anything to me here's the little coil that actually gets heated up same thing i don't even know if there would be a uh, use for these it's a shame that all this stuff just gets thrown in a uh, landfill you can see that that's all it is right there just to make up the little heating coil such a simple little thing. You know, I quit in uh, 16, 2016. Uh, I never vaped. I used uh, cigarettes. And uh, yeah, never felt better in my life. Smoking is the worst. It's funny. I now, I mean, I, I won't be a hypocrite. You know, other people smoke and they can smoke, do whatever they want. I know I quit. I feel a lot better. Uh, it wasn't by my choice. Uh, I ended up in a coma for two weeks. And yeah, so when I came out of it, um, could care less about cigarettes. I had walking pneumonia, among other things. Um, 
Now, I really don't know of any use for these sensors, if they're even worth being, you know, save them. I have no idea. Now, some of them do have charge ports on them, though. As you can see, uh, they're all disposable ones. But like these, the smaller batteries, same thing. They're uh, 3.7 volts. I don't know if you can read that or not. But 3.7 volts. Um, but these actually have a little, like if you charge this right here, I guess there's a little capacitor or something that protects it from overcharging, possibly. I'm not even sure, but you know, we're not gonna use these anyway. We're just gonna take the batteries and use them for by themselves. We're, we'll put a BMS, we'll, we'll do something to protect them. is one so what I think I'm gonna do is put them in um, four four packs I guess um, yeah let's do that let's put four of them together and charge them together some kind of tape they use I think it's a fireproof tape or something you can easily purchase it on Amazon. Right here, it's very cheap. I don't know if you ever seen how one of these was made or if anybody ever if you saw a video, I'm sure you saw a video of these things taken apart. Layers of copper, lithium in the middle of sheets, and very dangerous with water and some other things. Technology is amazing, very dangerous. Right. Some of these are really hard to get off. They want in the protector. Right. You know, I'll bring you back when I get these together where I kind of need them. It's kind of boring and kind of a pain. So, shall bring you guys back. All right. All right, let's see if we can try to solder some wires on these things. I'm going to make them in packs of four. Make it a little bit easier. What we want to do is just get these. Really quick.
I use just a plain paper towel just to clean the tip a little bit. All right. So shaky. <laughs> God, I gotta find something to. Just a little better here. Let me bring the guy up here. No, it may not look the prettiest, and it may not be the best, but I think it did work, and I think my voltage should still be. Uh, well, it should. Well, let's see what the voltage reads. Volt meter, and let's see what we're reading here. Volts, negative, positive. DC, let's see if you can read that. What are you reading there? Well, it's reading uh, 3.855. Nice. I'll take that. Yeah, just, they're all good. They're tight. They're fine. Looks like that one probably doesn't match. Should be good. All right, there's one set. Yeah, it's, it's not so easy. It's time consuming. It's tedious. It's not fun. So I will probably stop this at part one and continue on and do some more. I think in part two, I'm going to have, I'm just going to make this two parts. I think my second part is going to be me 
connecting all the parts and you know making my power supply. I'm trying to see if we can get uh, that. Let's see if it's possible. Do we think we can get enough amperage out of these little vape batteries to use this? We shall find out in part two. Anyway, guys, take care. Enjoy the day. And I will see you soon. Enjoy the weather. Take care, YouTube.